Welcome to Earth Day 2022. You know, I was feeling a little bit nostalgic. Where I'm from is very close to Point Pelee National Park, which is the southernmost tip of all of Canada. And it happens to also be south, the only place that's south of the United States border. And as a kid, we used to do field trips to Point Pelee National Park during the migration period of the monarch butterfly. They usually spend somewhere, I think they arrive sometime in March. They laid their eggs, the little caterpillars, they hatched into pretty monarch butterflies. And then come winter time, September, October, they would then migrate down to Mexico and overwinter there. So I guess they'd be like a typical Canadian senior citizen who is a snowbird and migrates down to Florida. Instead, the monarch butterfly migrates down to Mexico. However, the monarch butterfly is also affected by climate change and they're very sensitive to changes in temperature. So anyway, my name is Fini Remind. Welcome to my channel. I'll meet you down on the canvas. We're gonna create a abstract version, very abstract. I will leave some of the parts of the monarch butterfly up to your imagination. Hopefully you can connect the dots. I'll meet you down on the canvas and let's paint a monarch. This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin It's a good day today. It's a good day today. 
smile upon your face And I see something shimmering in your eyes And they say if you want to glimpse the future you need space And you said you'll put down your morning guns Would you follow me to one? Beside me in a world of thunder Fear is an imposter When you look at me this way I find it hard to not give in like my monarch butterfly I'm actually gonna show you the war I'm actually gonna show you the warm results I'm actually gonna show you the dried results 
and this is my monarch butterfly all done and complete isn't she cute yeah it's a girl I name all my paintings of the female gender I, I don't know why anyway, it's a girl butterfly it's a monarch see kind of gotta leave some of it to your imagination but what I did want to also talk about in honor of Earth Day is sustainability I read a lot of comments, not necessarily on my channel, but on other channels about, oh, you guys waste so much paint and acrylic pouring. Well, how do I actually mitigate that? First off, I pour in a silicone mat. Um, you can see the insignia typically when I pour, and it's by Fluid Art Co. I'm not sponsored by them. They probably don't even know that I exist. But needless to say, the silicone mat's really handy because when I pour, and you guys see all the paint that kind of gets on the table, I actually scrape all of that up, and I use a lot of it, if not all of it, as a base paint for a, another pour in the future. For example, when I painted Legome, which was a deconstructed bloom, it had like the pale green background that kept getting darker and darker and darker because every time I scraped the canvas, it became a darker shade of green. So that, that final result ended up a lot darker than I had originally imagined. I have a bunch of colors on my table and I store them in my little pouring medium bottle. So this is like a brownish, orangish color. Uh, the scrapings from this pour, the Monarch Butterfly. I have lots of green. I don't know, maybe I'll have to do a, a landscape at some point because I said I was going to make one. I also use silicone cups. Yep, uh, so either A, I, I usually let the paint dry because I've got like 16 or 20 of these things. I usually let the paint dry and then once it dries, I can just peel it out. So, and then I can dispose of it rather than pouring paint down the drain. I also have little plastic Fluid Art Co. stir sticks. If I have leftover paint uh, that I could use in a future pour, I actually put them in these little things. They've got a little lid on top, aren't they cute? And I store all my paints in that. And this is what allowed me to make, uh, what was it, Bright Lights Big City and the cocktail party dresses. I had a bunch of leftover paints looking for a way that I could use them up and make a pretty painting. At least I thought it was pretty. And I can use these to make a multicolor cityscape, landscape, or whatever I wanted to do. So that's uh, how I try to be as sustainable as possible. Um, other than that, I don't know what else to tell you. If you liked my content and you want to see more of the mess I make on my table, please like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. So thanks for joining. Ciao for now. Happy Earth Day, and we'll see you in the next video.